Hey there, TRW crew. Matt Vassallo here with RhinestoneWorld.com. So this is an awesome video we wanted to show you all on how to work one of our new TRW Monogram 1 script Rhinestone True Type fonts. So we've had people asking for this font for a while now and wanted to create a great looking one that you're going to be able to use that's going to save you a lot of time. So you can see the different script font that we have here. Now we did an uppercase lowercase to make it easier for you. So you can see our sample down here, our TRW, and we just used obviously TRW because we're the rhinestone world, but you can do the first name, last name, middle initial, or however you want to do it as far as your monogram look. But this font is a mixture of our um, SS10 and SS6 or 16s and 10 so it is a two rhinestone size font so the great thing about that is in the TRW Stone Wizard our software is smart enough to recognize that so it's you click one button it's going to go ahead and fix that for you and make it perfect sizing for your 6s and 10s or your 16s and, and 10s or whatever you're using so let's go ahead and show you exactly how this works so there's always going to be a little bit of editing inside it but it's going to save you something like this TRW right here that might take you uh, 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes to create it might take you three, four, five minutes now because of this rhinestone true type font. So let's show you how this works. So let's just say we wanted to create something. I'm just going to do my initials M and I'm going to do a lowercase M, then capital V, and then S. Okay? So we want the, obviously the larger text right there in the middle for the last name. So if I go to my fonts here and I go to TRW monogram one script and click on that there's what we get right there so remember this is a completely editable font so if I go um, T R W there's that TRW we just did so whatever you want completely lowercase uppercase so I'm gonna go back to my M V S and there's mine right there. Now, there is some different things that we need to do here. Obviously, you're going to see that there's a couple overlaps, things like that. We can change the spacing around a little bit. So see where the S is coming and touching a little bit right there? I'm going to actually go to my Edit tab and just space it out a little bit just so those aren't actually touching. So just a tiny bit. You can see that S moved just the slightest bit right there. And now that I did that, I'm not going to get any overlaps right there. So let's go ahead and change this to, let's say we want it 10s and 6s, okay? So if I click on my shortcut for my SS 10s right here, I want to pick what size I want the largest stone to be. So I'm going to go 10, and then it's going to say, would you like them all to be... 0.18 inches. Now I have this set for my machine right now. So when you look at our sizes right here, we're going to see 0.118, which is for our CAMS machine, and then 0 0.097, which is for my SS6s. So that can change around just depending. You're going to probably be at 0.129 inches. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what yours is going to look like. So I'm going to change my settings. Now the great thing again about the wizard is you can completely change any of this. So this 0.118, let's say I didn't want that in there. So you can just delete that area. Now I have my 6s and 10s, and I don't want my cam size in there right there. So I'm going to hit Save, and that's going to save it perfectly for you. Come down here, highlight my design. Let's click on 10s now and see what it says. Now not all stones are... Oh, watch this. Now we have... 0.13 inches and 0.173. So this is 16s and 10s. Now I clicked on that 10 here. I'm going to hold shift and click on 10. And the reason why is I set it up wrong. I have SS 16s set up under my 10. So obviously I need to fix that and hit save. Let's make sure my others are good. SS 6s are looking good. And hold shift SS 16 is set up at 30s. So let's set that to 16s as well. So now when I highlight this design, it should work. 10s, would you like them all? No, because it's, so it's asking right here, would you like to space everything to 0.13 inches, which is my 10s. I want to say no to this because I know that I want it to recognize the two different stone sizes. So I'm going to hit no. And now you can see the perfect spacing we're going to have. Now what we need to do with this is we need to actually, you can see we do have some overlaps in there. And the reason why we have those few overlaps is because we have it to where um, those 
actual letters are overlapping each other to get kind of that intertwining look with the monogram. So a couple different ways I can do it. And I'm going to duplicate it here for you just to show you. But great looking size. 6.4 inches tall by 8.2 inches wide. So great size. We thought about that beforehand for the 10s and 6s. But I could do a couple things. Here's my merge overlap. So anything that's overlapping, it's going to merge them together. So you can see you do have a couple fixes in here that you need to do. But not really many at all. And then the other thing I can do is I could... I'm going to duplicate all of them, so I'll show you our three different techniques. I can go here and I can mark my top layer overlaps, and I can come over here and I can mark my bottom layer overlaps. So what I would do is I would just look to see which one has the least amount of fixes that I'm going to need. So looking at these right here, I'm going to say that I might want to go with this bottom left one here. So let's go ahead and delete those. Now again, this has 777 stones in the design here. So easy fix here, I would just probably duplicate an SS6. So that one's fixed right there. I would probably do the same thing here, just throw a 6 in there. And probably the same thing here. So that's looking good there. Those are all fixed. I would just delete one of those. Now I can, remember, you can easily change your spacing around with the wizard. So I could highlight that. And if I wanted to click on my B spline tool, let's go ahead and click here, here, and there, and magic respace, clear pass. So that's all respaced there. This one right here, I just want to move it a little bit, get it off, and then B spline tool, space, click there, and I'm just going across and our magic respace does all that for us. There you go, magic respace. That's sitting perfect. Let's get rid of a couple of these reds here. And you know what? I actually like it to where it looks like the M's going up there. So I'm going to adjust it that way. Let's get that into here. A little bit too tight there. So this one, I'll show you another tool. This is our three-point curve tool. So I could click to here and here, drag it to there, and magic respace. How easy was that? This one right here, I'll probably just drop another six right there real quick. And colors don't really matter off the start, just because obviously I can change it all to one color at the end. So there's a couple of different little spots where I can just change it and, and change out a six for a ten, and it's going to fix all the spacing. Other spots where if I'm using my three-point curve tool here again, bam, bam, click, magic respace, look at that, perfect up to here let's delete these three reds click to here three point curve let's go magic respace and add a stone oh clicked magic respace one too many times so good there clear pass and i would probably add a six here beautiful and i think we are just about done oh i got one more little spot right here click there and I'm going to have this round down there a little bit better. Three-point curve. Again, a great tool to be able to use a lot. See how easy that is. Magic respace. Add a stone. Clear my pass. And one more spot right there. Let's go ahead and three-point curve it again. Boom. To boom. To bam. And magic respace. So I would say we are sitting pretty. Highlight my design. Let's turn them all to the black. And we have a perfect monogram right there. So again, probably took four or five minutes to, to change those around just a tiny bit, but make it perfect now. Now what I can do is highlight this MVS. And let's go ahead and make it crystal stones. Let's go to my mock-ups. Let's go to accessories. I want to throw it on one of our TRW style tote bags. So I'm going to go front of the bag. I want to simulate stones and add my logo. And I'm going to call it uh, my MVS tote bag. Click on my bag there and let's see what this is going to look like. So it's going to run through. It's going to do stone simulation for all of our stones here, our 6s and our 10s. And then what it's also going to do, it's going to add our logo in the bottom corner of it there. So when I zoom in here, there you can see it's all 
stone simulated perfectly for us, placed perfectly on our TRW style tote bag. I can change up my background color to a gray. I can change it to a pink. You can change it to whatever you want that you think is going to look best. Again, when I zoom in here, oh, I did forget to remove one of my lines there. So no problem with that. Let's go ahead and clear my pass on that. So that's gone now. But pretty awesome font there. So you can see how easy it is. Go back to page one. Let's highlight this design, clear my pass, change these stones to purple or whatever you want, and you can throw it on a shirt as well. So let's throw it onto a shirt with some um, purple stones. So we got purple stones, women's shirt. Let's throw it onto this women's shirt right here. Click on the front design, it's going on a scoop neck here, and we just want to use the initials. Obviously, the monogramming you use a lot on your tote bags and, and lunch boxes, things like that. And we can change our sizing all around, but great sizing with the font off the start to be able to make it easy for you. So if I added a white background there, we could do a white background, zoom in, you can see stone simulation on the MVS stone simulation on the MVS right there awesome looking flows perfect there for us with a little bit of fixing so I know many of you have been asking for a font like this for a long time so that's why I wanted to make sure and get it out get it to you especially with the school starting and and weddings coming up and everything else so hopefully you'll be able to use this font a lot but if you do have any questions you can always give us a call of course right below this video right down here in the description you're going to see a link to purchase this font right on the website at the rhinestoneworld.com but if you do have any questions of course give us a call numbers 941-755 1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys have a great day.